Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Today I'm going to film my Vintage Chic Sense haul. So I have two boxes here because I made two orders. Um, she had her release last Sunday, so that was December 12th. Um, and I had made kind of a big list and then I just cut it down to what I really, really wanted because I remember during her Black Friday release, everything went like super, super quick. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get exactly what I want and enough to reach the free shipping minimum, which is $35 on Etsy. And that'll be that. Then the next day, so I made one on Sunday, the release, like right when they released, which I think it was like noon, if I remember correctly, um, and got just three things. Um, I was kind of on the, the Etsy site and I happened to see that she still had a lot in stock still the next day. So I made a, a second purchase on the 13th, which would have had to been that Monday night, I think. Um, so I was just kind of like, well, okay, things are still in stock. I can kind of browse shop a little bit more casually. Maybe I'll grab some more things that were kind of on my original list that I ended up cutting off. So yeah, so I ended up making two orders. So um, yeah, I feel like this one feels a little bit lighter. So this one might be my first order with just three things in it. So we'll see. Um, so the first order that I made was two loaves and one of her brittle bags, which she calls Chantilly Shatter. Um, these were loaves that I just like really, really wanted. And I remember one of them jumped out of my cart on Black Friday. It was the Ralphie's bunny pajamas. So I did end up getting to um, order that one this time around. And I will say, I feel like she had much more stocked because I don't think things sold out like super, super quick. I think they, there were definitely some things that sold out that Sunday, but there was a good amount in stock for, I want to say at least, you know, 30 minutes maybe. So if you made your list and went in right away, I think you were able to pretty much get what you wanted. So yes, this is my first box with the two loaves and the shatter. So this is what it looks like all wrapped up in here. Always wrapped up really, really nicely. So I'll grab my sample here first. And this is in Tree Farm, so Sugared Spruce Trees. So this is nice because I've never ordered this from her. Obviously, this is probably a Christmas scent, so perfect timing. I'll warm this um, probably, uh, you know, soon here within this week. Pour it 1130, Sugared Spruce Trees. So that's what that looks like. I love her samples. They're really generous size. I, you can definitely cut this in half. So yep, it smells just like a sweet Christmas tree is what I would probably say. Yeah, kind of like a sweet Christmas tree. I guess, yeah, sugared spruce trees. So that's a good description of it. Um, but yeah, I like it. So it was poured November 30th. Oh yeah, that's probably good. I mean, Ideally, I like to have things sit for about a month, but if I want to do this around Christmas time, that's pretty much almost a month. So that was my sample I got. Um, let's see. Oh, is this the shatter? Yeah, this must be the shatter. Oh, cool. Okay, so it's in kind of like a bakery bag, and this is in Christmas Tree Cakes Buttermint Ice Cream. So it's buttermint vanilla ice cream, yellow cake, vanilla buttercream, and a touch of green sprinkles. So it's the Christmas tree cake plus buttermint. So that's what that looks like. And I'll take out a piece of brittle so you guys can see. And this was poured December 7th. Oh, I forgot to say too, I've had the this order, both of them, for a while. Because I made them a day apart, the packages came a day apart. I want to say Thursday and Friday I got them in the mail. Oh, that's really, really beautiful. Definitely heavy on the bakery, but you do get a little of that buttermint lightly. You can kind of see the shatter in, in here, which is really nice because some of the pieces are really tiny, which I appreciate because sometimes the shatter is so big that I need to end up breaking it anyway, but I'll show a big piece here. So there's... I mean, one, one side of it has kind of a cool like lace pattern detail in it. Let me try taking out another. 
Oh, this is so pretty with, so kind of a lace patterned detail with some pretty glitter. Hopefully the texture is picking up. That's really pretty. I would say it's light on the buttercream though and heavier on like the bakery. Oh, sorry. Light on the buttermint and heavier on kind of like the buttercream vanilla bakery scent. Maybe the buttermint will come out more. I mean, it is pretty freshly poured, but heavier on the bakery, but very pretty. And I love, I love the light green. I love the lace pattern detail. I think it's really beautiful. I'm trying to look. So this shatter was $13.50. And I want to say it is, let me look on here. So it's approximately eight to 8.4 ounces. So that was the shatter. Then I got the two loaves and the loaves were $22 each. And they are approximately 14 to 14.8 ounces. All right, so the first one I got is, so she did a lot of Christmas tree cakes, um, ice cream blends. So this is Christmas tree, Christmas tree cakes, ice cream, and strawberry pound cake. So there were two different strawberries on her website. I think there was a strawberry ice cream and a strawberry pound cake. And I wanted to go for the more like bakery strawberry pound cake blend. But definitely be careful when you're checking out because those two listings were very similar. Oh, that is really pretty. I actually think it's definitely strawberry pound cake heavy. Um, poured December 7th. Look at how beautiful it is with that pretty, pretty Christmas glitter. That is beautiful. Very pretty. Definitely number one heavy on the strawberry pound cake and then just mixed with, you know, other heavy bakery scents. Really pretty. Then this is my coveted scent that I've been trying to get for a while. So beautiful. This is Ralphie's Bunny Pajamas, Sugar Cookies, Fresh Strawberries, and Fluffy Marshmallow Noel. I don't know why, I just really wanted this one. And it's a pretty coveted scent. Like, like I said, it sold out so quickly on Black Friday. Oh my gosh, it is really pretty. I'll take it out of the packaging so I can show the pretty like iridescent shimmer. So pretty. I prefer this like iridescent kind of finer glitter than the big chunky glitter, but I mean, it's all beautiful. Um, oh, that is so pretty. Yeah, this one definitely smells more like a fresh strawberry, um, but it's mixed with that sugar cookie and fluffy Noel. So it, it's fresh strawberry, but it definitely smells bakery. Um, it is beautiful, really pretty. I'm obsessed with strawberry bakery, so yeah, both my loaves are strawberry bakery, but I love them. So that was my first order that like, if I could only get a few things, that's what I wanted to grab initially. So then we'll order, we'll open my second order that I ended up going back and kind of like casually browsing. I think I got most everything else that I did originally have on my list, but I couldn't really remember because I deleted the list because I was only going to get those three then. Um, but yeah, I did get quite a few in the second order, one loaf and then more like little smaller pieces. So again, you get your invoice which is always really nice. And again, wrapped up very nicely. So the first one on top here, I think is a sample. And this time around, I got a sample in Whoville, which is cherry cookies, cotton candy, and jelly glazed donuts, which I'm actually really intrigued with because I know she had and might still have on her Etsy site, a Whoville um, blossom bar. But I just, I don't know. I don't know if it's a scent I need a whole blossom bar in, but I was kind of curious because that was on her Etsy site still. Okay. So I would say her cherry cookie scent, to me, the cherry does lean a little bit more cough syrup medicine cherry. Not as much like a candy, lollipop, like Tootsie Pop cherry scent. It leans a little bit more medicine. So if you, I mean, if you don't like that cherry medicine scent, I, I don't think you would like this one. 
I've definitely smelled like sweeter, candier cherries in that. Um, I don't mind it. I'll definitely warm it, but I'm definitely glad I didn't splurge and get a blossom bar of that one. Okay. The next item I got... Oh my gosh, I was so curious about this one. You guys, I really didn't need this. I have the scent in a few different shapes now, but I really wanted to try this shape because it looks so cute. So this is Christmas tree cakes ice cream. So I have the scent and this is blended with a few of the things that I got from my first box. Vanilla ice cream, yellow cake, vanilla buttercream, and a touch of green sprinkles. Um, so this is like the little Debbie's uh, Christmas tree cakes and then she has like an ice cream this year um but look at how cute this ice cream is okay really good december 6th so it's been poured for a little bit but i think it's light i think it could use more cure time look at how realistic this ice cream scoop looks isn't that so cute with some pretty sprinkles like you could just like if they had like a um what's it called a ice cream cone like mold too that would be so cute to put this on top but yeah honestly I got this for the cuteness to see what that ice cream shape looked like in person but yeah just a nice right now I would say it's a lightly vanilla bakery scent but I think it'll come out after I let give it some more cure time but honestly I kind of got it for the novelty of just the cute ice cream shape the next one I got is Grand Ole Opry. So this is one that I do remember, like I did want to go in for, but then I ended up cutting it off my list. But I thought this was going to be a great summertime scent. And I think she also had this poured. So I got it in a souffle, but I think she might've had it poured in a different shape as well. Um, so this is strawberry watermelon cake. I just, I don't know. I just thought might as well start preparing for some spring summer scents and then they'll be cured and ready to go by the time those months roll around. Oh, this is really pretty. That's what this souffle looks like, just a pink color. That is so pretty. It smells like a very juicy, like watermelon juice. I feel like her, her watermelon is coming out a bit more. It does smell like kind of a candy Jolly Rancher watermelon lightly. Um, but this one actually doesn't pull super chapsticky to me. So that's kind of different because a lot of watermelon scents I've gotten have pulled that, you know, um, chapstick lip gloss scent. But this definitely smells more juicy, like a, a crystallite watermelon strawberry juice that's kind of what it smells like to me so that smells really good let's just do my loaf next for fun um this is another christmas tree cakes blend but this one is mixed with peanut butter i just kirby does peanut butter blends like no other i feel like hers are really good but i will say i think it definitely benefits from cure time i've smelled peanut butter blends and i don't get too much on cold but when I go back to smell them a few weeks months later I do feel like they come out a lot stronger so we'll see so this was poured December 7th Christmas tree cakes peanut butter ice cream peanut butter vanilla ice cream yellow cake vanilla buttercream and a touch of green sprinkles and again her her Christmas tree cakes ice cream blends, they must all have that really pretty green and red sprinkle kind of looking glitter. Okay, this smells good. I mean, I do smell the Christmas tree cakes ice cream. I think I am getting some lightly peanut butter scented um, scent in the background, but I will say like, I think it's light like if I'm being honest I think it's light but this is one where I'm not worried at all I think if I go and sniff it a week later two weeks later a month later I know it's gonna come out stronger because I've smelled some of my peanut butter scents from her that I've gotten and they do they do come out stronger after that you give them cure time so that was my loaf in this order then I got, I think I got one pack of these ghosts, honestly, just because I'm obsessed with this blend and I think it's an all year round blend. So this is Jackie O's pumpkin pecan waffles. 
rich vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and a side of pumpkin pecan waffles for December 13th. This is her two pack, two pack ghost shape. And I'll put all the pricing and ounce size in the description if I haven't been mentioning. But the two pack ghost is $9.65 and it's approximately 5.6 to 6.2 ounces. Huh, okay. So I think I might be getting more of the Jackie O at the moment, more of just a vanilla bakery kind of a scent. So that's what her ghost looks like. Really pretty like iridescent black glitter. I feel like I'm not getting a ton of the pumpkin pecan waffle scent on cold right now. But this was poured on the 13th, which I think was the day it shipped. Um, oh no, this is the day I placed my order. So this is pretty, pretty fresh. This is only like a week old. So I'm definitely going to let it sit in cure and I'll go back and sniff it later. Maybe I'll keep it for the next you know, for the next fall, or maybe I'll just warm it after I feel like it's gotten some cure time. Um, I'm just un unwrapping the rest of the bundles. Okay, there we go. So there's no more crinkling. But, um, and I've heard Kirby stuff last four years. So don't worry if you have it sitting in your collection for a while. I've heard, I mean, there are people who show things in the Facebook group that have been poured in like I swear like five years ago or something like that. So the next bundle of things I will show are my um, little gingerbread men. So the first one is fi finally it's Christmas, which I do have this one already. This is another one where I've gone back and sniffed and I, I do feel like the peanut butter and all the scents have come out stronger. Um, so we'll see this one. I just, I think I have it in a gingerbread shape already. So I just thought like, you know, it's a small shape. Doesn't hurt to have a little bit more. Um, yellow cake, yellow cake and rich vanilla cupcakes topped with peanut butter frosting. Look how cute it is. Red with a little bit of green glitter. Yeah, at the moment, I feel like it's more of just that rich vanilla cupcake scent, but the peanut butter is going to come out the longer I let it cure. So that's what this guy looks like. Very cute. I love her shapes. And next year, I think she's moving over to um, a new standalone website. I think it's Shopify. Not sure what her current website um, like host is, but I know she's had a lot of problems with like ready to ships. People aren't able to check out it not connecting with PayPal well. So she's like re platforming her website um in the new year so that'll be exciting because her website the prices are a little bit cheaper than etsy mm, what is this oh hey boo i just went right into sniffing this next one salted butterscotch and vanilla bean noel that's what this one looks like this is really good i definitely get that like salted butterscotch because it's sweet, but I do get a little bit of like a saltiness in the background. That's so interesting how they, how you can smell like a saltiness. That is really good. Definitely the salted butterscotch is what I'm smelling number one. I'm not sure if I'm getting vanilla bean Noel, but that one just is a good blender. So that was Hey Boo. I got a few of these um, snowflake shapes. So the first one is Nutter Butter. I honestly can't remember. So she did like a peanut butter release a few weeks ago. And I know I got a few of the scents. I, I really don't remember if I've gotten this already, but if I do have it, it's in a smaller shape as well. So this is peanut butter cream, peanut butter, peanut butter cream sandwich between vanilla wafers. And that's what it looks like. Oh, this one's really good. I do smell the, the peanut butter already. That was December 7th, so that was poured a few weeks ago. That's good. I really, really like this one. Peanut butter cream squished between sandwich. Yeah. Kind of reminds me of that peanut butter Girl Scout cookie sandwich that it has like two 
cookies squished between like a peanut butter cream. Like it's not a, a layer of actual peanut butter. It's like a peanut butter frosting. That's what that reminds me of. The next snowflake is Prancer's Punch Juicy Huckleberry Mango Infused Ginger Ale. I got this because of the Juicy Huckleberry. I really wanted to try it. And this was December 9th. Wow, wow, wow. The ginger ale is definitely strong. Look how pretty that is. I would say you could probably cut this into like fourths. Oh, that is really, really good. I'm not sure if I'm getting much of a like huckleberry scent note, like, you know, the blueberry, raspberry. I think huckleberry, I was talking to Drew. I think it's like just a mixture of berries. Um, I'm not sure if I'm getting a ton of berries. I think it's more like the mango infused ginger ale that I'm getting. It's good. Juicy huckle huckleberry would remind me of like fall winter, but because I'm mainly getting mango infused ginger ale, this to me seems like it would be a great like spring summer scent. And then my last snowflake shape is Merry Christmas Baby. I actually just went over this in one of my like Christmas empties part one video. Eggnog yellow cake zucchini bread. I really, really liked this scent. And I said like, I don't know if I'd necessarily get this exact scent just because like I love the yellow cake and zucchini bread aspect of it, not necessarily like the eggnog, but I figure, you know, I saw it on the website, just a little tiny shape. I really enjoyed it. So why not grab it? Yeah, I, I definitely think it's heavier on the zucchini bread and yellow cake. I don't get a whole lot of eggnog in this in this particular blend. So if you just like a zucchini bread bakery, you'd love that. The eggnog isn't super strong, so it doesn't necessarily scream like holiday to me. Um, all right, one heart shape, which this was new. I don't know. It's probably not a new shape to her, but I haven't seen this yet. Probably because Valentine's Day is coming up soon. This is called Pod People. I think I got this because of Drew. He told me to get this. So this is Cactus and Sea Salt. And this sounds like it'll be a great spring, summer, or like bathroom kind of a scent for December 9th. Oh, that is beautiful. This is what it looks like. A big heart with some light glitter. This again, I'd probably cut into like four pieces. It almost smells a little bit laundry to me, actually. It smells very like clean and fresh. I'm not sure what like cactus is supposed to smell like, but it is really, really beautiful. Like I said, this to me, I would almost categorize as more of like a clean, fresh scent. Like if I were to categorize it in my collection. That is really pretty. I don't get as much of a salty note as I did with the salted butterscotch, but this is really beautiful. Oh, that is so pretty. I would actually warm that any time of the year. Um, I think it'll be a good um, day when you're like cleaning or when you just want to switch up from all the bakery scents. And then we'll wrap it up with my two um, flower packs, rose three packs. So the first one is Meet Me in St. Louis. Okay, I was curious about this one. I saw um, Lexi from Two Quick Wicks haul this. This was from her Etsy Black Friday sale, I believe. She got this in a loaf. And I was just curious. I do love laundry scents. I just, I didn't want it in a super, super large quantity. So when I saw it in the three pack roses, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. So this is warm, cozy linen with a hint of sweetness. I wasn't sure what it meant by hint of sweetness. But something, this could be just, I don't know, in my head. But something makes me think the hint of sweet sweetness is the pink on the top because the bottom like blue part sm definitely smells like laundry. But the hint of sweetness, like I feel like the pink part smells more sweet, but I don't know if that's in my head, like maybe a cotton candy kind of a note, but I don't know if cotton candy is what's making the hint of sweetness because I feel like she would have put cotton candy. I don't know, huh, that is so interesting because I swear I really do get some sweetness note, but I'm not sure what it is. But overall the blend itself smells more like a laundry clean note. So that's really pretty. 
And the three rose packs are perfect to just pop one rose into the warmer. Oops, I keep hitting my Christmas tree. And then the last one is Saturday Evening Post Zucchini Bread and Vanilla Bean Noel. So I was just curious about this one. I love zucchini bread. And it's probably a tiny bit sweeter because of the Vanilla Bean Noel. Yeah, it's really good. And this one's actually really strong. Definitely zucchini bread heavy. And yeah, like I said, just a smidge of sweetness in the background, like extra sweetness from the, the Vanilla Bean Noel. Really pretty. I love the purple. Yeah, that is really beautiful. I, I really like um, Vintage Chic's Zucchini Bread. It's really nice. So yeah, so that was my Vintage Chic haul. I'm fairly positive this is going to be my last Vintage Chic haul of the year. And like I said, for a while, just like I said in my L3 video, like I'm starting to kind of wrap up on some of my hauls because as we get into the new year, I am going on a low no buy. I'm saying low slash no buy because ideally I want it to be a no buy, but in reality, it'll probably be a low buy. So yeah. And you know, here and there I'll still do hauls because I'll have, um, I know I'll have like pre-orders that'll probably ship that I'll get. I did Wax Wednesday. I think that's coming in late J January or early February. I I buy like Southbound and those always come um, the next month. So um, there will still be hauls here and there, but probably not as much as I do ne right now, which is my goal. I want to slow down on the hauls and actually get to warm and enjoy the scents in my collection. So, um, but yeah, I am really excited. I mean, I really, really enjoy Vintage Chic Scents. Um, she's one of the vendors where I, I feel like I actually discovered relatively recently, like within the last two months, I think. And I've been really enjoying it. I love her fun shapes. I love like the glitter, everything like that. I love that you can try out a little piece and then if you like it, get it in a loaf or blossom bars. I think they're really unique. Um... So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great Sunday and I hope you have a great Sunday evening and I will see you in my next video. Bye.